Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to solve these fourth degree equations in less than a minute. Let's go ahead and get started with the very first example. At the beginning, I'm going to go real slow so you can understand each and every step. So as you can see, the x power 4 is pretty cumbersome. We want to make it simple. In order to do that one, we will be using a substitution method. So I'm going to start with this thing saying let u equal to x square. Then what can you tell me? u square simply become x square and then power 2. So u square is simply x power 4. So we got these two substitution that we're going to make in this equation. So x power 4 according to this become simply become u square minus 13 times x square is u in our case plus 36 equal to 0. So this becomes real simple quadratic equation with a u variable. So let's go ahead and factor this one out. What are the possible factors of this going to be? One of the factors is going to be u minus 4. The other is going to be u minus 9 equal to 0. We're going to split it up. I'm going to put down u minus 4 equal to 0. The other side is going to become u minus 9 equal to 0. So that means u simply become positive 4 and this side u become positive 9. So now since we started off with u was x square, now I'm going to plug it back to x variable. So this is x square equals to 4 and on this side this u become x square equal to 9. So far so good. So next step we want to do is we want to solve for x. So I'm going to take the square root on both sides to get rid of this square. So this square and square root onto each other. So x is going to be simply positive or negative 2. Likewise on this side over here we take the square root on this side as well to get rid of this square. So this uh, uh, square and square root undo each other, we got simply x equal to positive or negative 3. So thus our solution set is going to be these numbers, whatever we got the solutions. Uh, if you split them up, it's going to become negative 2, positive 2, negative 3, and positive 3. And as you can see, how many solutions we got? We got four solutions. And since our highest degree is 4, so at most we're going to get four solutions. Now we're going to focus on our next example. We're going to solve this fourth degree equation. And we're going to use the same way as we did before, use the substitution Math. So let's go ahead and get started with saying let u equal to x square. Then u square is going to be simply x square and then power 2. So u square becomes simply x power 4. We're going to plug it in these substitutions in this equation. So this simply becomes u square minus 5u plus 4 equal to 0. So this become a quadratic equation. So now we're going to simply find the factors for this one over here. So the possible factors is going to be u minus 1 and u minus 4. So far so good. Now we're going to split them up since this is equal to 0. So I'm going to say u minus 1 equal to 0 and on this side u minus 4 equal to 0. So u turns out to be equal to 1 and in this side u turns out to be equal to 4. Now we're going to go ahead and plug back our value in x variable. So u was x squared so I'm going to replace it u by x squared. It become equals to 1 and on this side x squared equals to 
4. Now we want to solve for x. So I'm going to take the square root on both sides to solve to get rid of this square. So square and square root undo each other. So we simply got x equal to positive or negative 1. These are our two solutions. On this side, we're going to take care of the square root on this side as well. So x turns out to be equal to positive or negative 2. And thus, this is our complete solution set. And our solution is negative 1, positive 1, negative 2, positive 2. And finally, we're going to solve this given fourth degree equation by using the substitution method as well. So now we're going to, once again, we're going to say let u equal to x square and u square is going to become x square and then power 2. So u square equal to x power 4. We're going to go ahead and make the substitution in this equation. So this simply is going to become 9u square minus 13u plus 4 equal to 0. So we got a quadratic equation with the u variable. So we're going to go ahead and find the factors. And the possible factors, as you can see, is 9u minus 4 and the other one is u minus 1. Since this, these two factors equal to 0, I'm going to split them up. 9u minus 4 equal to 0. The other one is u minus 1 equal to 0. So over here, if you add 4 on both sides, so this cancels out. So we got 9u equal to positive 4 divide both side by 9 so u turns out to be 4 over 9 likewise on this side u is going to become positive 1 now we're going to go ahead and revert back to x variable so as you can see that u was x squared so i'm going to go back and i'm going to put down x squared equals to 4 over 9 and here x square equals to 1 and I'm going to solve for x. Once again I want to get rid of this square so I'm going to take the square root on both sides so this square and square root undo each other so x turns out to be positive or negative square root of 4 is 2 and the square root of 9 is 3 so this becomes 2 third likewise on this side i'm going to take the square root as well so if you take the square root as well so x turns out to be a positive or negative one so these are our solutions and finally our solution set is negative two-third positive two-third negative one and positive one thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos